Now that we know about what exactly is a confusion matrix and what are the different terminologies of confusion matrix, that is true positive, false positive, true negative, uh, and false positive and false negative. Apart from that, we know which are known as type 1 error and which are known as type 2 error. Now, let's know about the different classification matrix that we have for classification problem. The first one is accuracy. Accuracy, it is the number of correct prediction made by our model divided by the total number of predictions. So what are the uh, correct predictions that our model has made? The, that is true positive, true positive and true negative. So we have TP plus TN. Oops, let me correct it out. So we have true TP and TN divided by all the samples that we have that is TP plus FP plus FN plus TN. So let's say X set has 100 images. So let's say X set. There's a set where there is 100 images and our model correctly predicts 80 images. So out of this 100 images, 80 of the images were predicted correctly by our machine learning model. So the accuracy of our machine learning model is, okay, so let me write it in a way that uh, predictions, okay, correct predictions. So the accuracy of our model is 80 by 100. That is the total number of correct prediction, that is 80 correct predictions we have done out of 100 predictions. So that is 0 0.8 per, so 0 0.8, which is 80%. Accurate. So we can say that our model is 0, 80% 80, 80 accurate. So that is all about accuracy. Let's know about the next thing that is recall. Recall is the ability of a model to find all the relevant cases within a data set. The precise definition of recall would be it is the number of true positives divided by true positive plus false negative. So we have recall is equal to true positive that is this one true positive again divided by true positive plus uh, false negative. Okay, false negative. So this divided by the complete this cell. So it is a fraction of example which were predicted belong to a class with respect to all the examples that truly belong in the class. The next matrix that we have is precision. Precision is the ability of a classification model to identify only the relevant data points. Now precision is defined as the number of true positives divided by the number of true positive plus the number of false positive. So P is equal to TP by TP plus FP. So TP over here divided by TP plus FP of the positive cases where uh, the predicted value is positive and the actual values are uh, changing. Now. Precision is the fraction of relevant examples among all of the examples which were predicted to belong to a certain class. You should know that there's a recall or there's a trade-off between recall and precision. That is, whenever you try to increase precision, your recall will decrease and when you try to increase recall, your precision will decrease. Okay, so there's a trade-off between recall and precision. Recall expresses the ability to find all the relevant instances in the data set, whereas our precision expresses the proportion of the data points our model says was relevant and was actually found that they are relevant. So that is what about precision. So that's the small difference between precision and recall. Always know that there's a trade-off between precision and recall. So when you try to increase one, the other will decrease. When you try to decrease other one and the other one will increase so that's about precision let's jump into the next one that is f1 score now f1 score it is in short uh, it is to find the optimal blend of precision and recall 
so we can say that it's the harmonic mean instead of a simple average because uh, it punishes our extreme values so whatever extreme values are it is cut off a classifier with a precision of 10 and a recall of 0 has a simple average of 0 0.5 but an f1 score of 0 so you can just analyze that if a classifier has a precision of 10 and a recall of 0 the simple average of this will be 0.5 if we try to get out the point uh, normal average of it it will be just uh, 10 plus 0 by 2 so the average is 0.5 but the f1 score is actually 0 okay so that's how important f1 score is to us it's the perfect blend between precision and recall so we can also write this formula what we have over here as 2 into 1 by so let's write 2 into 1 by so we can write recall plus precision by uh, we can just multiply them precision into recall so let's get the final value 2 into let's uh, get it up so precision into recall by recall plus precision so that's the formula for f1 score it's the harmonic mean not the average if it was an average uh, of if p is 10 and r equals to 0 then the average will be 0.5 but the f1 score in this place will be let's uh, try to get it out 2 into 10 into 0 as recall is 0 then 0 plus 10 so it is 2 into 0 by this so we will get the value 0 so f1 score is 0 as it is the perfect blend between precision and recall and if we try out the average of them it will be 0.5 so that's how important f1's score can be so that's it these are the four important matrix that we use uh, majorly used matrix that we have for classification problem accuracy f1 score precision and recall and apart from that are confusion matrix in confusion matrix again true positive and true negatives are the one that uh, actually are the corrected value by our model and false positive and false negative are the one which are not correctly predicted this is uh, false negative is type 2 error and then uh, a false positive is type 1 error so there are times let's say a problem statement of if our machine learning model is predicting if a person is having cancer or not if it is predicting correctly then we are having no issues but let's say out of 100 cases if uh, 60 or 60 times we are predicting uh, true positive 10 times we are predicting true negatives and uh, later 15 times we are predicting false positive and five times we are predicting false negative so the thing that we should be concerned in this is type 1 error that is the false positive that is we say a person that uh, he is positive but eventually he is not that is also completely fine in some cases but let's say if we say a person our machine learning model that is the five people that we have type 2 error is the main that we should be concerned in this kind of problem scenarios okay in most of the data science interviews you will be getting this kind of problems where you will be given a situation and you have to tell me which one should you be uh, thinking of for this so as of this statement where we are uh, predicting out if a person is having cancer or not so the matrix that we should be concerned of is false negative why false negative because let's say we tell a person that he is not having cancer so this person over here we have told him that he is not having cancer but later after a month it is fine that he was having cancer so type 2 errors should be reduced in this kind of scenarios 
so that's it for this video in our next video we are going to learn about a uh, practical example we will take an uh, confusion matrix and then try to find out everything f1 score accuracy uh, recall and precision and then we will move into our first ever classification problem algorithm thank you very much